Hey guys, it's Crazy D Productions here, back with a light, not tutorial, just a 3D continued of showing you how you can make lights 3D and how intense you can make them and increase the graphic looks. Remember, this does take a lot of resources. I mean RAM and CPU and maybe GPU from your PC so your game can slow down. But starting here, we have the ceiling 3 underscore 4 as you can tell, 3D compared to flat looks really really nice. Ceiling 1 underscore 3, the nice wood one, this one looks really nice with all the bolts and everything. The original one, ceiling 1 underscore 2, 3D to flat, comparison is unbelievable. Tile, I mean T light 6 underscore 6. This one is the round ones as same as the T light 6 underscore 5. Those are my favorite ones, those red ones. I got a good couple of things I want to do with them. Then the next one is the flat 17. Has a little holes there as ventilation. I changed the graphics to a black sky so it just looks awesome. Then we got flat 2. That one has ventilation ports too. Makes it look really nice in 3D. And last but not least, T Light 6 underscore 1. So that's what you can do by doing 3D or just adding a lot of lines around your graphics. And we're going to show you the live view of it now. Adding a lot of lines around your graphics. And we're going to show you the live view of it now. All right, guys, and we're back here in live view. Um, that's how these lights look. 3D compared to flat. 3D again compared to flat. I really, really, really like it. 3D to flat. And your circular ones. These look good from far away, but when you get close, it's more like, what is going on? So, it's up to the user if they want to do that. These red ones look awesome too. These ones actually have ventilating ports, or I guess that's what they are, but... Sorry, I'm having some keyboard problems. Those black lines in there were supposed to be type of ventilation and I did just change the graphics on them so there's a lot of things you guys can do with just the lines mode and just change everything and have different heights and stuff like that so yeah it's pretty it's pretty fun remember it does take a lot of resources on your computer I guess it has to render more surfaces guess more 3d or something like that and yeah that's basically the tutorial well just the showing not a tutorial tutorial should be coming up pretty soon and let's see if this game can be finished 